We've recently seen another round of strikes or walkouts by fast food workers, most of whom make minimum wage to start as low as about seven and a quarter an hour, but have been led to believe they should make 15 bucks an hour. However, it's not the workers, but their union organizers in league with the left who will reap the harvest by skimming the wages of the workers and destroying many low wage jobs in the process. Now this is a perfect example of how the left typically engages in one-step thinking and fails or refuses to consider the chain of unintended consequences from a policy prescription or new law. They see a problem they want to fix, such as low wages, and decide to simply decree higher wages as an end to the problem. This same one-step thinking can be seen in leftist tax policy. We're running a huge deficit, so let's just raise taxes or on guns. There are too many shootings, so let's just round up more guns. But they always fail or refuse to recognize the fallout. This is willful blindness. Consider the cascading consequences of the minimum wage being raised to $15 an hour. Do you think prices for goods and services would remain at current levels? McDonald's surely would rather charge two or three dollars for what it now sells for one dollar but they sell their goods for exactly the same price as everyone else, the maximum they think they can get. Now what will happen to the almost two million McDonald's workers when their pay is doubled? Will McDonald's purchase more labor or less when it doubles in price? Now when you combine a doubling of wages with the $2,000 penalty mandated by Obamacare, now delayed until January 2015, for each worker not provided with health insurance, not to mention all the other burdens employers must face, automation becomes awfully attractive. This is the unintended consequence. When you make something more expensive, you get less of it. The same is true for labor as it is for burgers. The truth is that most of those workers are not worth $15 an hour because they're not productive enough to warrant that wage. McDonald's gives unskilled labor a start in the workforce. They present a great opportunity for someone with few skills or who doesn't speak English to earn some money and generate skills to increase their value in the labor market. We should be celebrating that jobs like these exist for those without skills or experience. Instead, the left demonizes McDonald's. As usual, the free market crowd needs to do a much better job explaining to voters how and why the minimum wage actually hurts the very lowest on the economic ladder. Eliminating the minimum wage would actually benefit those at the bottom. Reducing the cost of labor will increase consumption of it and drive labor rates higher, something desperately needed as we now approach almost 25 percent real unemployment. Right now, engaging in their typical willful blindness. What the union and their leftist cohorts are saying is, if you're not worth $15 an hour, you don't deserve to work.